Rick and Morty are teleporting back to Earth for season six after a nearly year-long hiatus. And if you haven't been watching Rick and Morty thus far, what have you been doing with your life? You should watch all of the episodes because season seven is almost here. In the past 10 years, the adult animated science fiction sitcom created by Justin Roiland and Dan Harmon has been a real blast. When Rick and Morty debuted in 2013, it completely rocked the adult animation industry. The Dan Harmon and Justin Roiland created program won praise for its skillful blending of intricate sci-fi plotlines, witty humor, and intensely thematic material. These two were causing havoc and frequently getting into trouble while exploring the endless universes. If you haven't watched the show up to this point, you should do so immediately, because trust me, you'll become addicted in no time. Many fans consider Rick and Morty to be even better than Family Guy, and this is not exaggerated, as the show has a 9.2 rating on IMDb and an 87% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Things that will make you laugh in this show are dark and awkward at times, but you will laugh hysterically. Back in 2021, the fifth season of Rick and Morty abruptly ended with Evil Morty destroying the Citadel of Ricks and removing the central finite curve, which was a protective structure used by Rick to separate off any alternate realities where he wasn't the smartest guy in the universe. In the series' climatic scenes, Evil Morty traveled to one of these pocket universes and passed through a golden portal, where Rick's intelligence is probably dramatically reduced. It's impossible to predict what odd mystery he'll find, but it will undoubtedly be something sensational and bizarre. The aftermath of Evil Morty destroying the Citadel and the central finite curve, as well as what he discovers in that strange world, will probably be the focus of the upcoming season. It remains to be seen how Rick intends to function in a multiverse where he is no longer the smartest person in the room. Fans are already asking when the seventh season will be released, even though the sixth season has not even ended. Isn't that intriguing? The seventh season of Rick and Morty has already been confirmed, so if you're also eager for it, you'll just have to hold out a little bit longer. While many film and television productions have been negatively impacted by COVID-19 events since March 2020, it seems that Rick and Morty has been positively impacted. Harmon claimed during another virtual event that the lockdown had helped the show's crew concentrate. Given that information, it's not too surprising that they've already begun planning for season seven. The seventh season is anticipated to premiere in mid to late 2023 given the rapid production schedule compared to previous years and using the last two seasons as a guide. The most likely window for the big comeback is in September or November. The show is now approaching at a steady pace and will return to our screens in less than a year, as the writing for season seven is already complete. Let's hope they follow in the footsteps of the previous two seasons. With that being said, let's take a look at the cast members who will appear in the seventh season of the show. All of the regulars are reportedly returning for season six, as far as we know. We have Justin Roiland reprising his role as both Rick and Morty, Sarah Chalk reprising her role as Beth, Chris Parnell as Jerry, and Spencer Grammer as Summer. So if everything goes smoothly in this season, it is expected that the same characters will be seen again in the upcoming seventh season. Before we go any further, we wanted to let you know that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. <laughs> All fans of the show are familiar with the part where they bring up guest stars throughout the season. So far, we've had Elon Musk, Taika Waititi, Steve Buscemi, and many more. This might imply that the following season will feature some additional compelling voices of the same caliber. What famous people do you hope to hear in the upcoming seasons as the voices of some characters? Canon and Chaos have always been at odds in the never-ending battle between Rick and Morty. The show has never been short on clever ideas to use on different levels, but lately, especially in the last couple of seasons, the question of how it all fits together has become increasingly important. Season six is off to a Rick-tastic start, the main story of Rick and Morty Season 6 is very different from what viewers might have anticipated from the Season 6 premiere. 
Rick and Morty attempt to address the issues they ran into after destroying the Citadel of Ricks in Season 6, which picks up where Season 5 left off. In the Season 6 premiere of Rick and Morty, Rick's backstory is further developed, giving viewers the impression that the plot will center on Rick's desire for vengeance. In the previous episodes, Rick Sanchez mythologized his tragic past. However, in Solarix, Rick is brought back to his original universe and confronts the full depth of his grief. As a form of self-punishment, he turned his wife Diane into a robot and put his entire universe in a terrifying time loop. In order to exact revenge for the deaths of Diane and Beth, Rick sets out to confront Weird Rick after receiving the information he needs from his universe. However, things don't turn out as expected. The remains of the Citadel of Ricks are being defended by Beth, Space Beth, and Summer as Rick and Morty fly into Weird Rick's trap. Both Beths call Rick for help when they are devoured by a terrifying space creature. Rick appears prepared to give up everything to kill the person responsible for the deaths of his wife and child because he is unable to look past his need for revenge. That is, until Morty, who was later revealed to be Weird Rick's grandson, convinces Rick to give up his hopeless vendetta in order to save the Beths and Summer. By doing so, he demonstrates that the overall plot of Rick and Morty Season 6 isn't about Rick seeking revenge, but rather about him reuniting with his family. Basically, Rick Sanchez is an unstoppable vengeance weapon with no room for character development. Over the course of the show's first five seasons, Rick frequently delivered violent retribution to those who disobeyed him. How emotionally mature Rick has become is clear in his decision to give up on punishing Weird Rick in order to save Morty, the Beths, and Summer. Even after saving Jerry from his unsatisfying universe with Rick and Beth, he treats him with some respect and attention. It is not to say that Weird Rick won't take the place of Evil Morty in Season 6. The Rick and Morty Season 6 Episode 1 post credit scene indicates that he will undoubtedly be the main antagonist, but it is obvious that the plot won't simply be one of revenge. The best way for Rick to have a satisfying emotional arc that also served to bring justice for the murdered Diane and Beth would be to defeat Weird Rick in order to save his family, which involves an alternate Beth, Jerry, Summer, and Morty. So as far as we know, Season 7 will probably follow the same path as Season 6, exploring Rick's past, learning more about the family, and finding out if Rick will reconcile with the past. It is also possible that in the upcoming season, Rick and Morty going their separate ways is as much a promise as a threat. As a result, it sounds like you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. <laughs> Love doing it twice. In the past, Rick and Morty has openly made fun of the idea of continuity. The show's earlier seasons made a lot of inside jokes out of fan desire to learn more about Rick's past or tell serialized stories about his battles against the Citadel, even though some recurring characters and concepts have come and gone. See you in the next video!